What's going on, everybody? I'm your boy, Fado Mephisto, and welcome back to a brand new episode. Uh, first and foremost, real quick, man, yo, humongous shout out to Doc Dark, man, for doing what he did, promoting my video, and sending a lot of love his way to my channel. I've been trying to get my ass out of the fucking 500 subscriber range now for a hot take. You guys cracked that, man. Thank you so much, man. Like, it means the fucking world to me, dude. It actually gives me a lot more, uh, more momentum to, uh, you know, consistently make videos for you guys and shit like that. And speaking of, I want to go ahead and do a follow-up video to my Game Pass video I had put up yesterday. Because there was one thing, two things actually, uh, that I left out purposely in that video. Um, because I was going to bring them up in that video, but I did, the video probably would have went on for about a little over like 45 minutes. And I, you know what I mean? And I know people like long videos, but eh. I wanted to keep it down to at least under a half hour. Uh, but I'm going to give you guys the second part here today. This one's not going to be as long. It's going to be a lot shorter because these two topics are really, really quickly to gloss over and, you know, whatever the case would be. Uh, the first one being is, and this one's a very, very common thing you're going to hear uh, within the gaming community, especially related to Game Pass, and that is the whole entire $1 a month uh, shenanigans that everybody keeps praising and saying that you know that's all like people are doing to get into this actual service and blah blah blah. Um, now, of course, this this whole entire analogy actually is a very common trope, also very believable uh, because of how Microsoft you know freaking literally allows anybody new who has never played the service uh, to get in for a dollar and etc. Cetera, etc. Cetera. There's just three little, like, three quick caveats I just want to throw out there just to kind of, like, to get people to understand that when you do hear this term, it's going to be in one of the following three things. Um, <clears throat> the first being that when Microsoft started doing this whole entire dollar deal trade thing for, like, the first couple of years, I mean, it's still there, but within the first two years of Game Pass from, like, I remember from... Uh, 2018 to about middle of 2020 around there uh, before Microsoft actually somewhat stopped doing it with certain things. Uh, there was a lot of people who took advantage of uh, the Xbox Live uh, yearly ratio thing to maybe that could also be another reason why they got rid of the Xbox Live Gold for a year. Eh, maybe, but maybe. Um. But a lot of people, what they would do is, is they would stock up on buying Xbox Live Gold for a year, and then that would convert to Ultimate or Xbox Game Pass Ultimate for, I forget, however however many months it was or whatever the case may be. And you were able to do that up to a max, I believe it was like 36 months or something like that. Uh, I, know, I, I know a lot of people um, that took advantage of that and did that. Um, so that's one method of a lot of – but a lot of those people who did that though – they're literally subscribed to Game Pass for like the next fucking four years. So, I mean, yeah, that's, you know, I mean, like a lot of people took advantage of that. I, I sadly didn't because I, you know, I don't have the money to get like freaking uh, a year of um, Xbox Live Gold, several of them actually, just to be able to get myself lots of time on my actual account for Game Pass. Uh, the other method, and this is the one that it was the uh, another common one. Um, and that is the whole entire buy your way in for a dollar and then cancel your subscription and blah, 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 blah. So that way you can constantly repeat yourself doing that. Um, now I don't know because I, I, I can't get access to the dollar value thing anymore because I've already used it on my account once. So I'm I'm uneligible to, to uh, take advantage of that unless Microsoft does promotions. And then when they do promos. They usually tend to do promos around E3 time. They didn't. They haven't done one in the last two years, but I know in 2020 and and also in 2019 they did do that, and that's how I was able to get in for another dollar, uh, or at least renew my following month for a dollar. Um, but any other time, I I can never get access to that unless you make a separate account with a new email, a new brand new Microsoft or Xbox Live account, and do it that way. But here's where my question uh, that I really want to know is is how many people are going to take that method of making multiple accounts over and over and over again? Like, look, I've done it a couple times, but not for the dollar thing, mainly for using trials. And I can tell you one thing right now, man. That shit is fucking tedious as shit to do every single time you want to re-up on Game Pass. You know what I mean? 
And I don't see a lot of people really gunning to that and really sticking to that that very much. Um, don't get me wrong. You are going to have a group of people that will continue to do that. Um, and the thing of it is, if those people are continuing to do that, then clearly they actually like the service or, you know what I mean? Or they could be people out there. And there are people out there that will, you know, just pay for something anyways just to try to put their their two cents in on you know oh yeah i'm supporting this kind of thing right we see it we see it all the time with a lot of services and stuff like that like i've seen people buying the netflix and then like they just leave their payment on and then like like they never really actually fuck with netflix or like they'll watch maybe like two series like two series and that's it and then like but they completely forget that their actual uh credit card is still auto renew so it takes money out every month that kind of shit there's a lot of people that do that um and then, of course, so yeah, that's that's you know what like basically what I'm trying to say is like, you know, how many people are really going to sit there and constantly do that just to be able to get access to that dollar fucking venue shit? Not a lot are going to do that, man. Uh, and the last thing, of course, is just the, the people like me who pay the regular price monthly because, you know, I'm we're like we're very very active on the service. We play a lot of shit on the service. You know, I have a couple of my friends that I game with all the time that fucking that are always active on Game Pass every month. Uh, we play a lot of shit together. You know what I mean? They play a lot of games themselves uh, and that kind of stuff like that within the service and even outside the service too. So, you know, that's that like like you know that little tiny. I would I wouldn't really say a big group, but that's definitely yet uh, a group nonetheless. So, just to kind of give you guys a quick little recap. You have your people that took advantage of the of like that thirty six month exploit crap that was uh, uh, fairly new for the first couple of years of Game Pass. So those people are going to definitely be part of the service now for a long time going forward. Uh, the second group of people you're going to have is those people that um, will make separate accounts just to get a dollar thing or to get a trials or whatever the case may be. That is not a hundred percent a consistent way of doing it because it does get tedious to happen to do that, but there are people out there that do uh, and that will continue, continuously do that for sure. Uh, and of course, you know, the last group, which is what I'm part of, which is you know paying regular monthly uh, monthly for Game Pass Ultimate or three months or however fucking money it is, you know, and, and being consistent and constantly being active on the service and shit like that. Um, you know, I wanted to clarify that because there's, there's a lot of confusion that at least from what I see in the gaming community, man, and people who I talk to, man, that constantly always use that dollar analogy. Uh, and while they aren't wrong, they're absolutely correct. It's I wish that these individuals would would actually kind of break it up into categories like the way I just did now because I feel that that can definitely lead to a lot of misleading information. So a lot of people will take that, hear that, and then regurgitate it to other people. Um, and, and I think that really makes the bulk of 90% of the bullshit fanboy war crap that goes on within this community, man, which is a lot of misleading information, that kind of stuff like that. And that's what I'm trying to do with these videos. I'm not trying to, you know, do some fanboy shit. I mean, if you think like the video that I made yesterday is on some fanboy shit, then you do not understand what my channel is or what my actual video was implying. I'm trying to educate people to make them understand that when you hear this like buffoonery that goes on in the actual gaming community, and I know everybody has, because like I see people talking about it all the time. You know what I mean? I'm trying to educate, you know, my Xbox brethren. You know what I mean? Because we get picked on a lot over here all the goddamn time. A lot of it's very, very uh, accurate and also consistent too as well, because Microsoft, you know, is doing what they do, and there's problems that we all we all can't ignore. That kind of stuff. But when you're going to sit there and you're going to freaking try to like make it so like, oh, people just buy their way in for a dollar, that's it. But then not tell your audience that there are groups of people that use that exploit to get in for 36 months. Well, fucking, or people like me who like to pay monthly regular because we don't take advantage of that dollar no more. That kind of shit like that. And I kind of feel like that needs to be addressed a little bit just because people are really... Uh, deceptible to hearing shit and then regurgitating that shit to somebody else and that spreads like fucking cancer. You know what I mean? So it, 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 that shit kind of takes me off a little bit. Um, the other thing I want to bring up real quick is now I made an actual video uh, related to this there about a week ago and when I, when I was kind of like debunking the whole aspect of how Xbox has no games. Um, this is not so much of a, it's, it's not so much that I'm debunking it. 
I'm trying to get people to when you use that fucking term or that phrase, be consistent and correct yourself when you use that phrase. If you only give a shit about Xbox's AAA games and whatever the case would be, and then like you said, they have no games without letting people know that all you care about is their AAA games. Again, going back to the whole entire thing about the whole Game Pass fucking subscription crap with the $1 thing. Very misleading. Very, very misleading. That's like me going over to the PlayStation side and saying, hey, guys, you guys already had all your games come out in the first two months. Now you guys got nothing else fucking for the entire year. But yet they have plenty of exclusive content coming their way like Stray and you know, and other amazing content from Indies too, as well. In the foreseeable, in the foreseeable future, plus God of War Ragnarok's coming there, freaking later on this year, which I'm very excited for. But with that said, though, it's a very misleading context because it confuses the fuck out of people. Like people don't realize, man, that over the last from 2018 up to this very given day, Microsoft has released several first-party titles, whether it be from their own studios or first-party IPs that were worked on by a different studio. Um, And a lot of people don't even realize that. But again, the vast majority of the gaming community are not going to actually pay attention to that or give a shit about that because a lot of people have this mentality that it's AAA, nothing the fuck else. You know what I mean? That's a, a garbage analogy in my humble opinion, dude, because... Indies deserve respect. Middle market, I feel that they they definitely deserve some respect. AAA is not the end all be all. You know what I mean? And, and and I know people are always always shit on Microsoft for only ever freaking having Gears, Forza, and Halo as like their holy trinity, according to the Gospel of Phil Spencer, right? That kind of shit. <clears throat> but yet overall, they have they have released several games just that. All these people that sit there and shun Xbox and say they have no games are the ones that are literally implying letting people know, hey, I'm telling you this phrase, but I'm not letting you know what it is as to why I'm saying this phrase. So I'm just going to you know, secretly hide that shit behind what I'm saying. Nah, dude, if you're going to sit there and say that Xbox has no games, then be honest with yourself and be honest with your fan base and be honest with people that you talk to. Flat out say it. Xbox has no games I want to play right now. Don't generically say Xbox has no games and then leave it at that because that is a fucking wrong way of doing it. When there's evidence out there, people have played a lot of the games that, that are on the Xbox side that have been fucking released. So how can people sit there and say they have no games when they have plenty of games? It's just that people would use that narrative to let people know that, hey, they don't have anything that I want, so therefore Xbox has no games. Therefore, when they regurgitate that shit in a live stream or they say that shit on Twitter, people run with that shit and think that it's facts. And even though it's not, because it's very fucking misleading. And I can't stand when fucking motherfuckers do that shit, dude. It's so irritating, man. The vast majority of the stuff that you're going to see that's, that that transpires within the actual, uh, within the console war shit. Look, I've been there. I've been part of it. I regret being part of it. But whatever the case may be, that's just, you know, you, you, you live and you learn kind of shit. But. The vast majority of the things that you hear out of the context of fucking of the console war is generally narrative changing and fucking and, you know, uh, missing context is the two main issues I have with the console war. And it's very consistent and it's fucking horseshit, (laughs) that kind of shit like that. But anyways, guys, I'm going to go ahead and wrap this video up. I wanted to go ahead and just make a little quick little update um, to the first part of this video. Let me know down below, man, how, like um, uh, with the whole Game Pass thing. Like, did you take advantage of that 36-month deal thing? I don't know if it's still there or not. You can correct me if I'm wrong. Like, please do. Um, uh, or how, how do you get yourself in? Like, do you like do you make multiple accounts to get in for a dollar or make trials? Or do you actually pay a regular price for it, man? That kind of shit like that. Or, or do you wait for sales? Like, do you find them on, like, CD keys and that kind of shit like that? Um, as far as everything else goes, man, listen, I want to thank everybody from the bottom of my heart, man, for giving me that nice little, you know, boost of confidence in my channel, dude, because I've been waiting for something like that to happen for a while and, uh, it finally happened. So again, Doc Dark, thank you so much, man, for being a bro, dude. I really appreciate that. And, uh, yeah, here's hoping that I get to uh, a thousand subs, man, freaking relatively soon, dude. So that I can really start, you know, focusing on my channel and putting out content. So thank y'all, man. And I'll see you guys here on the next one, man. I'm out. Deuces.